The Long Beach Center for Economic Inclusion was a product of the Everyone in Economic Inclusion uh, Plan adopted unanimously by the Long Beach City Council. The plan began in 2017 to figure out strategies to close economic divides and create an economy where everyone has an opportunity to thrive. It really comes down to economic empowerment. Our city is limited in what it can do uh, to ensure that everyone has a city a seat at the table, an opportunity to thrive, that, that communities like Northwest, North Long Beach, West Long Beach, Central Long Beach are given what they need in order to become economically viable. And so rather than think about this as a responsibility solely as, as, as a city, we have to create mechanisms for the community, uh, for business, uh, for stakeholders to play a formal role in the empowerment uh, of our community. A community development corporation does just that. It, it creates a table uh, to bring cross-sector partners together and invest in strategies that help build the long-term resilience and really make sure that uh, it's a smart proposition for the entire city, for North Long Beach, Central Long Beach, West Long Beach to, to thrive. In my 28 years working in, um, as a, uh, an executive director and a senior vice president with, the, uh, with a local nonprofit in the city of Long Beach, I realized uh, working with youth, moving thousands of youth out of poverty over the last 28 years, that we really need to do more for families and help, <clears throat> help develop skills that necessitate um, entrepreneurship, that necessitate education as a way out of poverty, that necessitates opportunities that help move people into the middle class uh, status. The uniqueness of the Long Beach Center for Economic Inclusion <clears throat> is that we really are in development as a community development organization to partner with banks, to partner with foundations, to partner with government entities so that when they're putting forth policy or putting forth resources, capital, that we ensure that that capital goes to the area and the community that really needs it the most and make sure that capital goes out in an equitable and inclusive manner. Now, at Long Beach Center of Economic Inclusion, we have a vision for looking at um, everyone in our community having economic resiliency. And some of the ways that we feel are important for us to um, implement into the community, for us to build a culture for, is um, having entrepreneurship and small businesses partnered with workforce development and youth development. So how does that all work together? Is when you think about it is um, having an entrepreneurial mindset for many of our young people is really important. And so entrepreneurship is that entree into thinking in new and innovative ways. Thinking about how you could build your own business becoming to creating wealth in your life over the long period of time or um, using those skills in a job. But then the COVID-19 pandemic hit uh, in, in, in the spring, in early spring, and it changed the immediate focus to let's help uh, add relief to our communities, our most vulnerable communities in North Central and West Long Beach. And so we partnered with Bridge, Bridge Development Partners, uh, who's doing a great redevelopment project here in North Long Beach. They contributed an additional $250,000 to help support community groups, nonprofits, serving the North Long Beach community. Uh, Long Beach Center for Economic Inclusion became, became a partner, an anchor partner in that initiative and, and immediately partnered with groups like Organic Harvest Gardens and Food Finders, local churches and clergy to deploy a number of resources out to the community. Some of the most uh, successful examples were um, by partnering with clergy and food finders, Long Beach Center for Economic Inclusion was able to expand 10 new food pantries across the city. Uh, in areas most impacted by COVID-19. They were able to partner with a local organic farm who does farm to table sourcing for restaurants. And while the restaurants were down, convert that into an operation delivering farm boxes to seniors. Uh, the organization was able to partner with my office on all of these initiatives, as well as Long Beach City College in deploying uh, laptops, Chromebooks, to first time freshmen from the North Long Beach community who are going off to uh, Long Beach City College. Now, moving forward, uh, LBCI will get back to his roots of focusing on the, you know, the five core areas, you know, of uh, s small businesses and procurement and youth and workforce development, housing and home ownership. 
And that's going to make sure that our economic, economic recovery moving forward is inclusive and places a specific atten places specific attention to these issues. I would also say on the small business side is, you know, in the fabric of our community, our local small businesses employ people. And so what's really key and important for us is to support those entrepreneurs, to support those small businesses, especially in these difficult times of COVID, um, especially in the difficult times of change and challenge, is to support those entrepreneurs because they are employing individuals in our community. So we want to make sure that we uh, support the entrepreneurs, whether it be through resources, whether it's helping them to get access to capital, or the other side of it is, is the most critical resource is access to a skilled employee. The Long Beach Center for Economic Inclusion really wants to partner with all entities. And we really want to help uh, bridge the gaps of communication that exist between low-income community, communities of color and institutions. And we really want to engage institutions and, and, and develop leadership for low-income families of color to engage those institutions to when Long Beach Center for Economic Inclusion may not be around in 10 years, there are community leaders that look like the communities that they're in and understand how to engage these institutions to garner resources for their communities. And that's what we're really talking about. When we talk about change, we're talking about grassroots and treetops. What I see in five years from now is that we've, re, we've built certain capacities within our community to place our community on trajectory that it's, it's more inclusive moving forward uh, in this new economy. Uh, groups like LBCEI, Long Beach Economic Partnership, uh, those are the types of groups who are going to help add this critical capacity to the city to become a resource to ensure that small businesses on Artesia Boulevard or on Atlantic Avenue have a, a shot at thriving, uh, to make sure that workforce development is not centralized in, in areas we, that are inaccessible, but rather dispersed across our city, north, central, east, west. Um, I, I think these are the types of things, the types of strategies that we're fortunate to have developed and will be now more important than ever to see implemented in the years to come.